those who retire early die early. And what that means is if you're used to working, you're used to getting up, going to work, doing things every day, being productive, and you do that for 40 years, and then you turn 65, and the day you turn 65, you have this great party at your company, maybe it's virtual because you're working from home, you have this nice virtual party, and then you say, goodbye, have a nice retirement. Do you know what happens? Then if you don't know what to do, you have a whole bunch of free time, you go to your living room, you stretch out your arms, and you say, ah, retirement is great. And for the first week, it feels amazing because it's like you're on vacation. You have unlimited free time to do whatever you want. But then by the second week, what happens is now you start waking up a little bit later because you don't really need to wake up early. You're not showering the way that you were before. You go to the sofa, you start watching some more TV. By the third week now, you're starting to realize that, hmm, you have a lot more free time than you're really used to. By the fourth week, you're starting to get more bored because now you got to figure out how you can fill up your time. And by the fifth week, you realize, I don't have a purpose. I need something to do. You might have seen somebody go through this. I have seen now a couple people, not in my family, but around my family that have gone through the same thing. They were engineers, they were working professionals, they worked, they had no health issues, and then they retired. And immediately, within months of them retiring, you start to see this, this immediate like change in the personality. They start to face these mental health issues. They start to go through depression, which is never something they faced before. They start to have these physical issues because all of a sudden you went from having a purpose of doing something to not. And now you're just sitting there on the sofa doing nothing because all most people were focused about when it came to retirement is how can I have enough money to retire? Which, yeah, that is very important. You want to have enough money to have the freedom. But I also want you to think about the second part, which is what is the mental? part of retirement. What am I going to do to live my purpose, to do things that I love? I mean, just take a look at some of the wealthiest people in the world. Why does Warren Buffett continue to work every single day? This guy's almost 100 years old. He has more money than anybody can imagine, but yet he's still working. Why is he working? Well, he's not working for money. He doesn't need the money. He could spend millions of dollars a day for the rest of his life and never have to stress about money again. The reason why he's working is because it gives him purpose. It gives him that passion. It gives him that drive. It gives him the energy. It gives him the excitement. And that's what you have to start thinking about. Is there a way for you to start living this mental retirement sooner that when you have more time, you could do more of this mental retirement? Maybe you can even start doing it earlier if you can monetize this mental retirement. What does that mean? Well, let's just say, hypothetically, you like making YouTube videos about whatever your passion is. You like talking about entrepreneurship. If you start making videos about this on YouTube and now you start monetizing and you start making money, well, now you can do this, make money, and do something that you actually enjoy on your own schedule. Because the reason why so many people are looking forward to this concept of retirement is because they hate what they do. I don't like this job. I don't like my career. I don't feel satisfied. I'm not making enough money. Hopefully when I retire, I'll finally have freedom. I'll be able to travel. I'll be able to do all these nice things. But that's really not how it works for a lot of people. What ends up happening to a lot of people is if you're living this miserable time working, you end up having a miserable retirement as well. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you got to do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who want to stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.